or whatever floats her boat. Here's Dawn. I'm on the line this morning with Matt Powell from Third Day. My goodness, sir, how are you doing this morning? I'm doing absolutely wonderful in yourself. I'm doing great, too. You know, I think that this may be, um, after all the years that I've worked at Power FM and after all the, the bands that I've interviewed, I think this is the, fir the first time that you and I have actually had the opportunity to speak. So it is, it's a, a pleasure to meet you. The pleasure is all mine, and that's an absolute travesty that this is the first time. So we need to maybe we need to do a, a weekly uh, interview just to kind of make up for those lost years. Well, you better not say that if you don't mean it, because I'm putting it on my calendar right now. <laughs> okay, I'm here. <laughs> Very cool. Well, you guys are coming to the the Metroplex here uh, in November as part of Spirit Fest. In fact, you're headlining Spirit Fest. So um, this is the first time it's in DFW in the Dallas Fort Worth area uh, before. For this, of course, you guys have been doing it for for uh, several years. You were part of the first Spirit Fest in Austin. Is that correct? Yeah, that is correct. And it was, uh, I remember it uh, really well. It was a great, great night. Some great friends of ours. Um, it, you know, I was talking to somebody earlier about festivals, and they're so much fun for us as artists because you get to see friends that... Uh, you know that we often don't get to see that much those friends are traveling as well as well as we are and uh so you know to get to hang out with some of those smart smartest and, and be able to meet some new friends and it's really a real it's you know it's a lot of fun for us as a band and and honestly being fans of christian music for so long it's uh, it's really a great way to kind of, uh, we're cheapskate, so if we don't have to pay for a ticket, we get free tickets to the show. I guess so, you get pretty good seats there from uh, from side stage. <laughs> that's right, that's right. <laughs> well, is there anybody that you guys, I mean, because y'all are, are, you know, have been in, in the industry for so long and considered absolute pioneers there. Is, is there anybody that you geek out when, when you uh, you got the chance to meet? Yeah, well, you know what, it's, I still... To this day, I mean, it's yeah, we've done probably three tours with with Toby Mac and with Michael W. Smith, and you know, so many shows with with Peter Furler from the Newsboys. You know, um, so many great artists that that we listen to and still listen to, and, and it's I still act like a goofball when I'm around them. <laughs> uh, you know, it's. I, it, it never gets old to me to get to hang out with Toby or Michael or Peter Furler or, you know, you get out, Stephen Curtis Chapman, you get on the list. And um, so it's still a lot of fun. In fact, we played a show with Peter last night. And, uh, you know, just I was talking with somebody later on after after we got to have dinner last night. Just how great it is to steal these, you know, almost, what, 15 years later after touring first with Peter with the newsboys to just get to have dinner with him and hang out. So I don't know, I'm a, I'm a big uh, Christian music geek. So uh, <laughs> I, I think those some of those artists try to keep me. They call security on me sometimes. I think that's actually kind of scary, but but fascinating. <laughs> How funny! No, now you, um, of course, having been around Which for um, for for quite a while, have you guys ever right. have y'all played tours with Switchfoot before? We have. In fact, we took Switchfoot out on their very first tour uh, when they, they, I mean, they were just, we were kids, but they were even more kids. <laughs> uh, in fact, I remember Timmy, I was calling Timmy, Tim the bass player, he uh, he was, it was funny because we would play some, some clubs uh, on our very first tour, these little dive rock and roll clubs, you know, and he wasn't even old enough to be allowed into the clubs, and yet he was playing on stage. <laughs> and so uh, we've, and then we've done a couple other things with them through the years, and we just love those guys. They're so great and so proud of them and, and the success that they've had and really excited about seeing them again. So I know, I can imagine it's almost like a family reunion when you guys are able to get together. Do you guys play a lot of pranks on each other or have some inside jokes or anything? <laughs> no, you know, a third day has always been, we, we're not big pranksters. <laughs> Uh, we kind of we're, we're sensitive guys so we we get upset when people pull pranks on us so we just don't do that to each other we kind of we toured with a band who shall rename or shall name i will not name them okay <laughs> and uh and they pulled a lot of pranks on the very first tour that we ever did and that kind of put a bad taste in our mouth oh wow so uh so we don't really do that a lot but uh we do love hanging out with with other artists so we would you know we have the the ballpark in arlington 
Edmonton, the Rangers, that type of thing, doing a lot of like faith-based events. Um, how is yeah. how is that as opposed to playing bars and, and, and clubs like you were talking about and, and even churches? Tell me about the differences between the venues. Well, it's, it's very interesting because you know that when uh, – Dallas is great. When we play for the Rangers, we've done it a couple of times, and I know our friends in, in Mercy Me have done it several times, that they always have they, – they're probably one of the best turnouts when it comes to uh, – comes to you know playing at a baseball stadium and and they've done it differently uh in the past at at uh they're at the for, uh, what's it called the uh cowboy stadium or yeah the stadium there but usually mm -hmm. you know a lot of times when you play these baseball stadiums you're playing inside um and uh for the rangers uh in the past we've played outside right outside the stadium and it's actually a lot better for a show uh, when people are coming in, and so they have this big uh, lawn outside that people can gather on. So, so I know it's, it's going to be different this time. We're going to be out on the field, so that's going to be interesting for us and, and ac actually rather exciting to, to get to play on the field for the first time, even though we've played concerts there a couple times. Um, it's, a, you know, it's a great place, and uh, our fans in the Dallas-Fort Worth area are really – and I know the people, when they hear this, they're going to think that oh, I say this with every interview and in every town that we go to. But they're really, it's really one of our favorite places to come. We have so many fans in the in the Metroplex, as you say. And uh, so it's for us, this is kind of an easy gig because a, a lot of great fans, a lot of friends who live in the area uh, at just a beautiful stadium uh, with a lot of our friends. So it's something that we really honestly look forward to. Well, we believe you because, of course, we feel the, the same way here. And the fact that you know what Metroplex means means that you already know what you're talking about. So we're, we're convinced. Well, I don't that. necessarily know what it means. I just have heard it several times. Right. <laughs> and it sounds good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you're just joining us, we're speaking with Matt Powell from Third Day. You guys are going to be headlining at Spirit Fest on November 10th at the ballpark in Arlington. And we are so excited about the, uh, the event. We can't wait. We've been doing lots and lots of ticket giveaways. And, and whatnot. Can you give us a little bit more information about Third Day itself? Uh, you know, obviously, most of our listeners know who you are, but in case we have some new listeners who are not familiar with Third Day, sure. give us the website and, and tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, well, we're for people who don't know who we are, we've, we've been a band. We're from right outside the Atlanta area, Atlanta, Georgia area, and we've been a band together for over 20 years now, this past November. Um, November of last year was 20 years of us, the four of us being together. Wow. And we've been fortunate enough to, uh, to be able to do this for 20 years and, and travel the country several times and, you know, over and over and go across the world and, and just share our faith through our music and just, uh, really blessed to be able to still be doing this for so many. We've made a lot of records and probably one of those bands that, that if you've been kind of turning the dial, you've heard us and didn't realize who we were. But, yeah. But, uh, you know, still just for so many years being able to do this, just still loving it. And that's the thing people ask me all the time. Do you, do you, are you still enjoying this and how long will, I guess when you've done it for so long, people assume it's going to end sometime soon. But yeah. for us, we're having, having more fun than we've ever had before. And I, I know we appreciate it more and kind of understand a little bit more now, the older we are about what we have and what God's given us. And it's, uh, it's really, you know, to his glory. Well, and again, um, I, I know that you guys, having been together for 20 years, y'all have y'all played so many of the same songs over and over again. And I know sometimes, I'm sure that you have your songs that, that speak to you personally. Mac, what, what is that song, looking back over this last 20 years, is there a specific song that really means, you know, the world to you, so to speak? Yeah, I, it's hard to pick a favorite. I tell people, you know, when you write these songs and you put so many hours and so much uh, kind of heart into these songs, it's hard to pick a favorite because, you know, it's like, you know, your children. I have right. five kids, and uh, and I don't have a favorite. You know, you love them all in different ways, and they have their different personalities, and songs are like that, too. And, and I've said before, even if you got an ugly baby, you still love it. <laughs> so so even the bad songs I love. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> So it's, I guess if I had to pick a favorite, there's a song called I've Always Loved You that was on our third record, the Time record. And um, there's something about it. was our first AC single, um, which for people out there don't know what that means, it's, it was our first big radio single, uh -huh. I should say. Sure. And, uh, and 
it, I don't know. There's something special about it. It's kind of a love song from God to us. And so just to be reminded of that, you know, we can get so deep in theology and we can talk about, you know, all these different things with the church, but really it boils down to God has a great love for us. And that's what the song talks about. I love it. Thank you so much to Mac Powell for being with us this morning. Again, Spirit Fest coming to the ballpark in Arlington, November 10th. You can get more information about the event at spiritfestdfw.com. Mac, it's been a pleasure. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thanks so much for uh, for having me, and let's not uh, let it be another 20 years before we talk. Amen, my friend. KBRK, Sanger, Dallas, Fort Worth, 89.7, Power FM.